Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to our holiday edition of the GNW Show. Thanks for joining me tonight, taking a few minutes out of your busy schedule. I'm sure everyone is getting ready with cooking and gift wrapping and planning and or maybe just kicking back and relaxing, which I hope you get to do a little bit of between now and if you celebrate Christmas or any of the other holidays that are coming up. So we are talking tonight about those little things, taking time for the little things. And that's what we're going to just start out with on our strategies for a happy life. You know, one of the people that is a great role model for taking time for the little things was my friend, Mr. Rogers. And a lot of you may not have watched the show, but you probably saw the movie with Tom Hanks about Mr. Rogers. And... The cool thing about Mr. Rogers' show was that you always knew that he was going to do these certain things. Like when he came in, he was going to take off his shoes and he was going to put on his sneakers and he was going to take off his coat and he was going to put on his sweater and hang it up. And he took time to do those little things. And with the kids, he would do the same thing. He often said, the beauty of a story and the holiday time is watching a young child hear a story that they know and it's familiar, but they can go through the stages of the story, the, the beginning, the suspenseful part, and then the resolution at the end and be just enthralled and excited in that story. And so I thought, you know, I read a story about Christmas and you saw maybe in our intro, we had the picture of the poinsettia and, you know, everybody thinks about the red flowers at Christmas time. But do you know the story about the poinsettia? Well, if you don't, I'm going to tell you. And if you do, I hope I don't mess it up too badly. So there was this little girl in Mexico, and her name was Pepita. Pepita was very poor, and Pepita and her brother were going to the Christmas Mass at church, and she had nothing to bring because everyone always brought a gift, an offering. So by the side of the road, she saw kind of some weedy-looking plants, and she picked them, and she arranged them into a little bouquet, and that's what she took into the church. And all the while she was thinking, this wasn't a, this isn't a very good gift. It's not really worthy. But when she walked into the door of the church, the tips of all the branches lit up in a red color, and it was a Christmas miracle. And they called those flowers Flores de Noche Buena, Flowers of the Holy Night. And that's the little story about how a little thing can turn into a big thing. And at the holiday time, we always look for the big things, you know, the big presents, Hey, did I get my car? <laughs> uh, Joe? <laughs> well, maybe not. But what about those little things? Those little things 
that bring you pleasure, those little memories. Like today I was shopping and I bought a particular kind of a cake that reminded me of, of, of a very poignant experience in my life at, at the holiday time. So what is it that means something to you in your life? That's what we're talking about. We're talking about those little things. Because as Kurt Vonnegut said, there are little things in life and enjoy them because one day you will realize that those were the big things, right? And so that's my story about the little things and enjoying them at Christmas time. And I have one more little uh, p tidbit of information for you because you know I, I like trivia. Um, did you know uh, what the poinsettia, who the poinsettia was named after? Hmm. It, it was not actually that little fable story that I told. It was Joel Poinsett. And he was a, um, I guess, a statesman. Let me see here. He was, he was a botanist. And he was also um, the first U.S. minister to Mexico. And when he went to Mexico, of course, he was also a botanist, right? So he saw those cool red flowers. And they were... They were used, the, the poinsettias were used for um, medicinal purposes and also, I guess, as a red dye. Well, that would make sense, right? And so he brought them back. I think he was from uh, South Carolina. And he brought them back to the United States. And they named the flower after Joel Poinsett. So there, in case you didn't know, now you're smarter. <laughs> Okay, this is our tip this week for strategies for a happy life. And now I've got some interesting little tidbits on another topic. So we, every week in our Monday morning uh, wake up call blog that we have, that if you don't get a copy of, just uh, shoot me an email at karen at homesbydonovan.com and I'll be glad to send you out a copy. We, our, our musicologist, Mr. Michael Riccio, chooses a couple of songs to kind of go with the theme. So this week, Little Things. And he picked out two songs, uh, which I can't play on the show because that's copyrighted. But I have another song to play instead, which we'll hear in a little bit. The two songs that he picked out are both named Little Things. One is by ABBA. You know the group ABBA. And the other one was by Bobby Goldsboro. Now that was an oldie but goodie. That, that was quite a while ago. Um, and then everybody kind of in the newsletter, they kind of tell me which one they, they prefer. So this week, the winner was ABBA. And what's cool about ABBA's song is it's a Christmas song and it's called Little Things. And if you don't know the group ABBA, which you probably do, they're back from the 70s. Um, they had some very cool songs, um, I guess, really uh, uh, Dancing Queen <laughs> and uh, Mamma Mia, the, the movie Mamma Mia was based on their their song Mamma Mia. They're from Sweden. Um, and they they made like a comeback and they're very uh, they they do like to do Christmas songs. So they wrote a little the, a little song called Little Things, which was very cool. And it kind of reminded me, you know, of of the good old days when when they were on the scene, um, because, you know, it's kind of nice to see some of those, those old guys coming back. <laughs> and uh, I, I got sort of nostalgic about Christmas songs. And uh, so I went back in the archives 
And I found, well, you know that that um, Joe and I have a group. We we sing the Donovan Three. We have anyway. Um, we wrote our first Christmas song back in 2012, and it, it, you're going to see, you know, some some fuzzy recording here and <laughs> uh, kind of some home, you know, when we started out, we were pretty homemade, um, but it, it's kind of interesting and the sentiment is still there. And so I thought, you know what, let's just share that tonight. A little thing from Joe and Karen wishing you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> bit different. Not exactly a bluegrass country song, but we got into the mood that year and so we hope that you enjoyed it. And now on to what you've all been waiting for, another little thing. so many people getting into the trivia questions. They're so silly, but yet you find out very interesting pieces of information. So if you would like to join in on the fun and you'd like to get the trivia question in advance, please shoot me an email at karen at homesbydonovan.com. You will see it in that scrolling little bar at the bottom of your screen. And uh, let me know that you'd like a free copy, and I'll be glad to send it to you. And uh, there is no obligation. And if you decide you want to cancel later on and you don't want to play trivia anymore and you don't want to get inspired to start your week out, well, then you can just tell me that you want to cancel. So there. Anyway, in our Monday morning trivia this week, as we were talking about little things, I got to thinking about little things that mean a lot. 
And this would also be something that you would maybe think about as a little thing that would be a very expensive thing that you could get as a gift. And if that's the case, it could be a diamond. So our question tonight is, good things come in small packages. And these diamonds that I'm going to name made the list of the world's most expensive diamonds. But of these most expensive diamonds, which one is the smallest? See, we're sticking with our theme. <laughs> so here's the list. We have the pink star diamond. We have the art of D. Grisgrono white diamond. We have the orange diamond. And we have the Zoe blue diamond. Now, if you know your diamonds, then maybe you know the answer. But if you don't, like I did not, then I had to learn the answer by studying. So let's talk about these diamonds. First of all, the pink star diamond, A, is actually the most expensive pink diamond. There's all different colors of diamonds. Blue, pink, orange, yellow, white. I don't even know all the colors. Anyway, the pink star diamond was the most expensive diamond, but it weighed 59.60 carats. So now let's see about the other ones. The Art of D. Gris Grono, Gono diamond, the world's most expensive white diamond, uh, came in at 163.41 carats. Woo! That was a heavy duty diamond. One, yeah, so 163.41. Then the C, the orange diamond, <clears throat> that came in at 14.82 carats. So Maybe that could be the answer. I don't know. And then D, the Zoe diamond, the blue diamond, that came in at 9.75 carats. So actually, the Zoe diamond is correct, D. And this was a tough week. I mean, I, I, I didn't give the answer <laughs> away this week. So unless you know your diamonds, you did not know that the Zoe diamond is the smallest diamond that is the most valuable diamond of one of the most valuable diamonds. So there. So now, will you get, the question is, is will you get a diamond in your stocking this Christmas? I do not know the answer to that question. Maybe you do. Maybe someone you know does. Uh, as for me, I won't exactly be expecting a diamond, but I will be expecting some small little things that mean a lot. Because remember, it's the little things that later on turn into the big things in the end. We hope that you have a wonderful, blessed holiday season. Please stay safe. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy the little pleasures that come along, the little unexpected pleasures. And we'll play you out with one of our more recent songs. Home is in your heart. Until next time, make it a great week. Bye-bye. Big or small, cause
that's the place you call home is in your heart you're never far apart from family or from friends that's where the memories start but they don't ever end when home is in your heart you call. Home is in your heart. You're never far apart from family or from friends. That's where the memories start, but they don't ever end when home is in your heart. Time of you. 